Gotta have fun in Vancouver. Yeah, if you want to have a good time in Vancouver. Thanks for stopping by. This is Ben. Hello, my name's Ali. Be my baby. This is our boat dog, Bruce. And these are our cruising grounds. Thanks for coming along as we push our limits. <laughs> laugh lots. <laughs> learn more. Ali doesn't know this right now, but I'm kind of terrified. And explore everything that the Pacific Northwest has to offer. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you like our episodes. And welcome back to Breaking Waves. Anchored here in Vancouver, right downtown. The wind is probably awful. In Falls Creek. There's good anchorage here, really close to a public dock. Easier for us to get to shore. And there's like cafes and restaurants and everything we need right up there. Pretty crazy. I've been working all day from the boat and all week from the boat. And Ali's been doing her city stuff and we've been visiting friends and just soaking up city life. So what are we doing? Uh, we're gonna go for a little cruise around. We're gonna go find some loud music. You got my best jean vest on for the next? So Ali and I, we have both lived in Vancouver at different points in our life. I think it was like three years when I first moved to British Columbia. I lived here, I think for two. Yeah, we both know the city well. We both love the city. Uh, it's good to be back. And this is how to have fun in Vancouver. So Vancouver is some of the most expensive real estate in the world and honestly like I think it's for good reason like it's look at this it's such a beautiful city right on the ocean beautiful mountains everywhere you look it's uh, pretty world-class here I think it's absurd how much real estate costs but at the same <laughs> time like of all the cities in the world that I think are awesome this is up there things about Vancouver is how it's like a combination of a big city feels but it also has these like hikes and ocean and urban sprawl hasn't completely ruined the nature of it. So this is the Canby. There's a hostel above it. I'm pretty sure this is where a lot of underage drinking goes down. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first bar I ever went to when I got to Vancouver. <laughs> and mimosa anywhere. For reliable live music, any night of the week, this is the spot to go. They do a lot of local artists too.
I was working nine to five from the boat, my regular work week. It was my first taste of what it could be like to be a digital nomad while living on the boat. And I gotta say, it was pretty liberating. And after I had punched the clock on Friday, it was time to have some fun. All right, so full party <laughs> starting up. This is my old pal Tyson. We used to work together. Uh, we used to work with BC Hydro together, and we also shared my old boat for a couple of seasons. And man, we had some fun, hey? <laughs> uh, love, uh, love every time you guys uh, boats, especially your troubles. <laughs> Tyson likes a good pick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> That that's It had been a year since I had moved out of Vancouver and onto the boat. And I loved the boat. But if I'm honest, I miss the city sometimes. But after being back with the boat, I realized that it wasn't the city that I missed. It was the people. Fun to do a sunset cruise with a good group of people. Like a wagon, tacos. Rock me, mama, anyway. Jazz music. Yeah, we're both just happy. We're happy we came and we're having a good time. I'm not happy. We're having a miserable time. <laughs> rock me. Guys, this is awful time. making stuff. Good morning. We are. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We have tied up the boat after our friends came over. It was a great night. Uh, felt like everybody had a lot of fun. And today is our final day in Vancouver because we are tossing off our dock lines and heading up the sound to go see one of Ben's friends for the day. And it's very windy, so we are in for a great sail. Anything you want to say, Captain? Uh, nope. <laughs> we'll see you out there. saying earlier that we're sad to leave Vancouver because we had a lot of fun here but it's also like it's always good to leave on a good note. Leave wanting more. Yeah like I could do another week here you know get more tacos and more jazz music and more <laughs> boat parties and more runs on the seawall like I enjoyed the whole thing but uh, yeah it's good to leave on a good note and I'm excited to go meet our buddy in House Sound and I remember the first time we went sailing out here and I came around this point that we're about to come around and I looked up and I, that was one of the moments when I just fell so in love with British Columbia. And yeah, I always love sailing to House Sound.
lot of waves out here. It's hard to tell. But yeah, we're going. How fast are we going? Four and a half knots. Four and a half. A little, a little over reefed. A little over reefed. Over reefed. relaxing. I'd rather be over reefed than under reefed. <laughs> but yeah, just enjoying up our comfort level right now. We're expecting we're going to go around the point and we're expecting to be able to go on more of a downwind or a beam reach. I imagine we'll probably go full sail at that point. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, I'll never forget the first time I rounded this point. We have a slightly seasick alley, but recovering. All right, so we just sailed out from Vancouver into Horseshoe Bay. It was a pretty, it was kind of a rough sail in English Bay there. Like, there was some big waves coming in. But in the sound here, it's nice and calm, and uh, we're gonna Pick up my good buddy O'Malley, who is in episode, I'm guessing like episode eight or something like that, last year when we were in the same area. And his new girlfriend, who I've never met before, and Ali's never met before. And we're gonna go on a little uh, adventure. Anyway, we're uh, just about here. Ali is recovering from seasickness and possibly a little bit of overtiredness from last night's party. And we're gonna have a good day. Docking solo style. set of friends on board, we set off to explore the Howe Sound and find our next adventure. But hey, that's for the next episode. Is you this guys. Cool? Is this cool? You like when I do this? You guys know how to work the camera. <laughs> I would just like to give a real quick shout out to our patrons from these last couple weeks. There's Matt Yaturi, Bernadette Beecroft, and Kyle Wingate. <laughs> uh, we have been having a blast this summer. We have been sailing a ton. We have been all over the east coast of Vancouver Island, well, southern east coast. Super excited to show you guys what we've been up to. Yeah, it's going to be good. In There's the meantime, though, we plan to post, we're going to try to aim for bi monthly on the 1st and the 15th. So stick around and stay tuned for the 1st and the 15th of every month. That's when our episodes will be out. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. <laughs> Ding! Ding!
<laughs> and if you're on Instagram, we are on Instagram as well at Breaking Waves. Yeah, follow us on Instagram. Dot sailing right Please. here. We'll see you at the next episode. <laughs>